Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we have a PlayStation 5 Digital, which has a power issue. For your Xbox and PlayStation repairs, visit consoletherapy.com. So as I say, this PS5 Digital Edition has a power issue. It's basically a blue light of death. So when we hit the power button, it beeps, it shows a blue light, but then goes off after about two seconds. So it is a two second blue light of death issue, also known as a three second blue light of death issue sometimes. So let's see if this one has been opened. Yes, it has. It's actually come from a, another repair store. Uh, who have attempted to repair it but were unable to. So what we're going to do is get this one open, get down to the motherboard and we can have a check to see what is going on. Right, so down to the motherboard, let's pop in some power, let's bring up our multimeter and do our usual checks, just to make sure that, uh, or just to check what voltage we have got. We are gonna pop one probe on ground, the black probe on ground, and we're just gonna buzz around the board to see what voltage we get. So do we get five volts? Yep, we get our five volts. Do we get our 3.3 volts? Yep, we get our 3.3 volts. Let's buzz around. I can see there's, looks to be some flux around these RAM ICs. So let's keep buzzing around to see what's going on. Uh, do we get five volts? either side of F7002. No, we don't. So we get it that side, but we don't get it, I don't think. Oh, yes, we do. There we go, five volts on that side as well. Let's just quickly check these voltages down here. Get our five volts there, which is good. Now, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there are, well, there is, looks to be some additional flux around these RAM ICs. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop the motherboard out and we can take a closer look at that. Right, so with the motherboard out, if we just flip it around by this RAM, what, I mean is, let's just zoom you in a little bit. Can you see all the flux around the RAM? So someone has tried to reflow all of these RAM and I don't know why. Um, they looks like they haven't been replaced because you can still see the actual thermal pad markings on there. So I think they've just reflowed them, but I don't know why. So in these kind of situations, what I like to do is just hook up the motherboard to UART. Uh, looks like no one's tried that yet. So we will uh, connect the motherboard up to UART uh, and see if that gives us any error codes. I won't go through the whole UART process now. I'll just quickly read the codes. Um, I created a video a while back uh, showing you actually how to use UART. So click up wherever it is up here to see that video, uh, or I'll leave a link in the description below to see how to use UART. Uh, so let's just quickly get the reading and see where we are. Right, without UART reader connected, we've just ran through the process of reading the error codes off the motherboard. As I say, there'll be a link down in the description or over here somewhere in the top right-hand corner of how to use UART. Uh, the error code that we are receiving is an error code 
and that is basically throwing up an error of one of the GDDR6 RAM uh, ICs. Though these are the chips around here. There's eight of them on the PS5. All right, our one, our error code actually points to bank three. The way you read these uh, chips is like this way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, that is the IC that is throwing up the error. Now, it might not actually be broken, right? Because what you can see is obviously earlier on I showed um, someone has reflowed these memory chips already. So when they've reflowed this one, they might have actually just broken it even further, right? So it might not be faulty, right? But what we will do is we will uh, replace that anyhow, um, and then we'll do another reart, uh, UART read um, to see if there's any other errors. It might fix our, our blue lights issue, right? Just replacing that one. That could be the one that's faulting. That could be they, they, whoever previously worked on this might have looked at it and gone, oh, there's something wrong with the memory chips and that's how, why they've reflowed them. They don't look replaced to me, just reflowed. However, um, as I say, what might be the case is when they've reflowed this one, they've actually damaged it um, even more. So although we replace that, we might get rid of the error code, but we might still have a blue light issue. But obviously we need to replace that first of all. So let's see if we get lucky. Let's get that, this one replaced. We have a donor uh, memory chip. When you replace these, it's always best to replace them with exactly the same manufacturer. Um, as the ones that are already on there. Um, so there's various different manufacturers that Sony use when they're um, making these boards. So just make sure you're using the same manufacturer IC with the one that you replace. Right, I need to get this re uh, and then we can remove that one and replace it. Okay, with that GDDR6 uh, chip replaced, we just hooked it back up to UART and we have got, uh, we cleared off the error codes uh, and uh, we've got no errors now. So it does look like that uh, chip was at fault. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I am going to obviously give all these other, uh, other ICs a clean up where they've left the flux uh, from previously. Uh, we'll sort out the um, liquid metal, we'll remove our um, UART reader, uh, and then we will give everything a good test. Right, that's everything put back together and cleaned up. Let's plug in some power. And I'm 99% sure this will power up because UART reports zero errors. Let's push the power button and as you can see there we've got a blue light great and let's see if we get a display we should yep there we go got a display perfect good there you go everything working so I do need to give this a thorough test which what I will do um, you know, because it's a RAM IC that's been replaced, uh, it's good to give it a good thorough test, right? Just to make sure there's no issues with that RAM that I've replaced. So I will soak test it for a good few hours, making sure uh, obviously games can install, etc., and you can play games without any issues whatsoever. Right, so there you go quick video for you obviously showing you how to fix a blue light of death a two or three second blue light of death in this example and it turned out to be that ram ic now i'm guessing 
the uh, workshop that worked on this previously, they obviously had an idea it was the RAM, right? They hadn't checked UART, so I'm not too sure how they kind of worked out it was a RAM issue. Um, maybe they watched a YouTube video. They tried to reflow the RAM, uh, but exactly it was that you know RAM on bank three that actually had a fault that needed replacing. So there you go. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, please give us a thumbs up. It really does help us out. And please consider subscribing to the channel again. That helps us out. It's just a couple of clicks for you, but it really does help us out and encourages us to make more videos just like this one. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. See you next week. Bye bye for now.